in this tutorial. Today in this tutorial I'll just be going through my preferred render settings with you. So let's get started. So this is the scene I made a while ago and I'm using it in a lot of tutorials because um, it's filled with really useful information. Um, so let's just go through the camera, the actual render settings. So I've got it uh, resolution 1920 by 1080 and 100% of course. Down here I've got it on a PNG, 15% compression and RGBA because I like having the um, transparent background which I can add in and then I can add in a um, background in Photoshop. For the render I've got it on a thousand. Uh, it just comes out really crisp and clear. I usually have it on 200 to 500 to 1000, so if it's still looking not that great, for detailed scenes I'll do a 1000, for less detailed I'll do 500, and for simple objects 200 is perfect enough. Um, I always have the film on transparent all the time, I never ever rarely, or sorry not never ever, I rarely have it on a background. Um, so that's that. Under the settings, I usually have that selected and that selected, just so it renders scene one and layer one, because that's where everything else is on. Under these, I have it on film almost 90% of the time, and my exposure settings are and gamma settings are variable from piece to piece, and gravity and those don't apply to this image. Under here I almost render with the exact same um, environment texture like in most of my renders and just change the look in Photoshop. Um, I just, I'll put a link in the description for the uh, image I use and it comes with a tutorial as well so you can watch that. But I use it in almost every single one of my pieces, I think it looks great. Um, if we go down about under the settings on this uh, world tab here, I've ticked multiple importance. I've changed this to 2048 and this to 1024, and those are my default settings that I have in all of them. Uh, we don't need to know anything about object constraints. Um, in this scene, I've just got a simple area light at the back backlit area light and that's just to um, give it some more light as, along with the um, the, the uh, texture, the environment texture that I have. And that's about it for my render settings. It usually takes a few, maybe 40 minutes to render this scene and then I had to do post-processing. It was, yeah, it was good. Um, so these are just the standard render settings that I use in 90% of my works. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I hope to make some longer tutorials um, coming up soon. It's just um, school term time and I'm being weighed down by uh, subjects. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I'll catch you in my next video.